Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem El Shad by Shem Rokakodash. Let me say it again. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rokakodash. Kal Halal Yahweh. Kal Halal Yum Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rokakodash. Giving all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rokakodash. The true name of the Most High and His Beloved Son and the Holy Spirit. Now I said that three times for a reason, and I'm going to entitle this video GMS has the exclusive names of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rakakwadash or Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai in the title. Let me just take the uh, okay, so this is put up by. Uh, GMS South Carolina 08 and it's the title is Deacon Asaph Villains you can look that word up make a villain evil put in the evil light the name of the Lord uh, must listen so we have the exclusive name as the title we have the exclusive name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And this is coming from uh, a Deacon Asaph getting all em overly emotional. See, when you get emotional, see, in boxing, in, in fighting, like in, bo in a boxing match, when they have their press conference, they curse each other out because they're trying to get, in, get into each other's heads to get them emotional. So when they fight, they fight emotional. When you fight in, mo in a, an emotional manner, you tend to make mistakes. A real box, a real fighter, is as cool as a cucumber. Anyway, so this is a video. I just got up. Got up a little late today, but uh, so this is a. Uh, this 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 Deacon Asaph right over here, he's been on a rant, you know, get vilifying the um, GMS, the true men of the Most High, and he makes a statement, and we're going to uh, see if I can see this. Nate, Nathaniel said, when we are this army, no, you're not the army of Ezekiel. You could be part of the army of Ezekiel, but this is not. The fulfillment of Ezekiel uh, chapter 37. That's a that's a lie. The army in uh, Ezekiel chapter 7 are the elect that wake up to this truth. And you got this army gathered not in the name of Yahweh. You got it gathered in the name of Christ or Jesus Christ. That's on your church. Um, I, I, you, I see most um, uh, Israel united in Christ. Not in Yahweh or Yahweh Shai. So this is not the this is not the army of Ezekiel. And I'm gonna get on the hell thing. Cause and, and see, this is why you're teaching all this madness because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is taking away the gospel from you. He's taking away the true information and you're 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 um you're reaching for straws. You, you know, you're, you're reaching to get something. So you make, if you don't understand a particular precept, you make it up. You make it up. So I'm going to let you listen. Then I'm going to, and I got, I got a bunch of precepts that I'm going to give you. And, and I, I can't even give you all of them because there's almost 300 precepts. When you put the phrase, the name of the Lord or in the name of the Lord, that will come up, that phrase, that will come up um, almost three, 300 times. So, and that's, and, and, the, and the scriptures that I put together was just in the, in the Old Testament. I didn't even go into the New Testament. And um, on top of all of that, Deacon Asaph, you vilified the name of the Most High. You said that we have the, this exclusive name of the Most High, which, well, you're going to listen. Let's, so let's listen. 
Same time, you got homosexual pastors in the Christian church, in the black Hebrew Israelite community, you got all. Oh, and another thing, they recently started saying this. It's good to say meddle not with them that are given to change. They recently started saying this, I would say maybe a month ago, the black Hebrew Israelites. They, I believe they referred to themselves as the black Hebrew Israelites. Any other Israelite group, they referred to us as the black Hebrew Israelite Israelites which is a term that the government, the feds, use against the Hebrew Israelites. We don't, we never call ourselves the black Hebrew, we call ourselves Israelites or Hebrew Israelites. So what happened behind, the clo behind closed doors? We went from being Israelites, or we went from Yahweh by Hashem Shai to Mosai and Christ Bless. That's a change. Don't let me bring up, matter of fact, I am going to bring it up. I am going to bring it up. Give me a second here. Give me a second here. This is why we believe that they sold out. See, now this is acting up. See, our reward will come in the kingdom of heaven, not on this side. Somebody gives you a blank check, you know, you have access to $155 million or whatever plus, and they say, oh, well, you got to change a couple of things. No big deal. Meddle not with them that are given the change. So, uh... And this is why Tazadak is dead. Who who put Tazadak to death? Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And he refused to call on the name of the Yahweh by Hashem Shai too. So let me let me do this. Let me just put in name. Let me put in name. Let's see what comes up. Okay. To see if I can find it this way. Okay. Okay, I can't find it. Um, boy, how can I do this? I forget what video, I, how, what I named it. Uh, let me put in the word Hebrew. Let's see what happens. Hebrew. Hebrew. Let's put that in. Do it this way. Let me do it this way. Let me put in. I'll put in the short form of Nate and Nathaniel. Let's see what comes up. Okay. Oh, damn. Boy, I hate this. Um. Just bear with me for a minute. I'll find it. Let me do this. Try it this way. I mean, I 
I can I can use this. I believe that's a 2022 Passover. Because Yahweh Bashem Shai is not definitely not dealing with the uh, uh, the IUIC at this particular point in time. There's Satan upstairs. Satan. Okay, let me see here. Bear me for a minute. Please forgive me for not. Bear me for a minute. You know what I'm going to do? Let me do this. Let me just play some of this. This goes back a year ago, so please listen. This is one of my videos. Shalom. 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 Give it all praise to Yahweh Bashan Shah Bashan Kakudash. Now a thun thun cow halal yam. La Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah Bashan Kakudash. I'm going to entitle this video. I don't know how long this is going to be. It may be short. It may go a little long. Let's see where the spirit takes me. Uh, but I'm going to entitle this video. If you fear Yahweh Bashan Yahweh Shah. You will you call will on his name. name. If you don't, don't fear, fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you, you will not call, call on their name, their name, his name, his their name. name. When I say his name, his name, the Lord's the name, Lord's in the name of his beloved son. Yahweh, Wa, Yahweh Shai. Um, um, I know, I know IUIC, IUIC is going to watch this. This is, is going to get back to, uh, to uh, the, the Bishop, the Bishop Nate, Nate Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Oh, oh, if I say if Nate, I say they'll Nate have a problem. Have a problem. Well, you got to respect his name. His name ain't Nate. Nate. His name is Nate. Nate. Nathaniel. Nate. Well, why don't you respect, respect the Most High's name, Yahweh's name, and yeah, and his beloved son's name, Yahweh Shah. Anyway, this is not to bash bash the IUIC. You know, it's not to really get on them and curse them out like we know, like we usually do. It was just an observation. And I saw this when uh, this video first came out. Let me give you the exact date. What date is this? Okay, let me go right here. I'm right over here, 1708. 17 minutes, eight seconds in. Okay, uh, listen up. Listen up. I hope I hope y'all can hear this it's a little sh uh muffled. Yeah, he was he was ill. Uh, definitely ill. 
for about a year, I would say. He just got out of it. Uh, this was a 2022 Passover, as you can see. And um, at that point, he fed, he fed the Most High. And the, the proof is what he's going to say. He's going he's gonna to call on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Then he's going to make a little joke concerning us not mentioning our name. Watch what Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is going to do to the IUIC. Oh, another thing. Back 2022, they were not teaching, as far as I know, they were not teaching uh, about hell. That's something new. I came across one of the videos uh, maybe six, seven, eight months ago. And he had recently did a video on hell. Lazarus, uh, Luke 16, the rich man and Lazarus. And I'm going to have to do a video on that. I may do a series of videos called, and call it Hell Week. And when he says Sabbath, he's off on the Sabbath. The Sabbath does not fall on Friday sundown to Sunday sun, sun, uh, Saturday, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. The only time it falls, the Sabbath falls on the Friday sundown, and Saturday sundown is when the new moon comes in. The new moon is a dark moon, not a full moon. Okay, okay, I'm trying to I'm find trying where to find he actually, actually says, it. says it. Bear with me for a minute. Bear with me for a minute. For a minute. He owns a house in um, New York, and he owns, owns a house in Atlanta, and I believe he owns a house in Florida. So how many houses did Yahweh Shai own? Okay, so you heard it. Let me bring it back. Let me just play it again. Yeah, it says it give them, he said, and I like to thank Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It gives them goosebumps when I say that. He's talking about GMS. The true man of Yahweh by Shem Shai. So he knows the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai because he just called it. You just heard it. Let me play it again for you slow people out there. 
Oh, and um, I was listening to uh, Deacon Hakkar, and uh, he did a video on uh, Anton Daniels. Uh, concerning Anton Daniels, was talking about the Israelites, and he pretty much was trashing all the Israelites. And about a week before that, you had a, a video with, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Tyreek Nasheed trashing, pretty much trashing the Israelites, saying that we're not Israelites. But we go back six, eight months ago, he was on the uh, No Jumper with uh, Tazar, Captain Tazariak, and he was talking about how, we, oh yeah, we're Hebrews, we're Hebrews. So he went, he went from we're being the Hebrews to, to we're not the Hebrews at all. So Tariq Nasheed, uh, Anton Daniels, and maybe even others, I believe that they got a, you know, they were pulled to the side to demonize the Israelites. See, now it's about demonizing and vilifying the Israelites. So you just heard it. If you want to hear it again, just come to my page. Go to Fear the Name of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Go to around the 20, 20 minute mark. This is what 50 some odd minute. What is it, 36 minutes? I'm sorry. And, and he says it. And he, remember, he just got out of uh, the hospital. He was damn near in the deathbed. And, and he did, was delivered. And the Most High did deliver him. And so he's talking, read the scriptures, this, that, and the third. And he's humbled at this time. So he pushes the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and he says, uh, they get goose goosebumps when they hear it. And he was talking, it was like a little joke, and it was sent it to, it was uh, uh, pointed to us, the men of GMS, which do have, we, we do have the exclusive name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, because we're always using it. When I use my opening, I always go to <coughs> Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So now, let me, let me do this. Bear me for a minute. Okay, so let me let you listen to this again from the beginning. So this guy, Deacon Asaph, is uh, going to vilify the men of GMS, and he's going to vilify the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And he's, well, he's going to make a statement that these guys got this exclusive name, meaning that's not he's saying in other words that's not his name that's why they don't call the name if they if they had if they believed in the true name of the lord they wouldn't have israel united in christ they might have israel united in yahweh shai and this is what get the people to come in they oh no i gotta get down with these dudes and like i said before the iuic for the most part is a revolving door you go to the various different camps. Now, in them same camps, like in Dallas or wherever you go, you go to, camp, to go to that same site, go back 10 years ago, if they got the video still up, they're different faces. They're, it's a revolving door, man. So let's, let's listen. Same time, you got homosexual pastors in the Christian church, in the black Hebrew Israelite community, you got... Now, like I said, that's a new term. That's a term. You know what I'm going to do? Let me do this. Let me do this. I'm going to show you that that's a fed, a federal, a fed term. Let me do this. Bear me for a minute. Bear me for a minute. Project Megiddo. Project Megiddo. Bear me for a minute. Okay, I got it. This was before the year 2000. The computers were going to crash and then all hell is going to break loose. So it says here, Project Megiddo was a report research and written by the United States Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI. 
under Director Lewis Free. There's Lewis Free, all right, that devil. Released on October 20th, 1999, because everybody, oh my goodness, when 2000, the computers were not set for the year 2000, all the computers are going to crash and all hell's going to break loose, and the Israelites are going to start doing this and doing that. And it says, the report numbered, uh, the report, report named of uh, followers of white supremacy Christian identity. Now, Christian identity, when you look it up, uh, let me just read this. It says, Christian identity is an uh, inter interpretation of Christianity which uh, advocates the belief that only Celtics and German Germanic people, such as the Anglo-Saxon, the original Germanic Celtics, Anglo-Saxon with Jake, all right? Nordic nations are people of 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 the Aryan race and the people of kin kindred blood uh are the descendants of the ancient Israelites. So they're focusing on these people that are saying that they're the Israelites. So who can who 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 is behind who's behind these alphabet uh what nation of people is behind this these the alphabet people? They said we gotta focus on these white people that say that they're the descendants of the Israelites. These Celtic people, these whatever, Germanic people. It says the American militia movement, black Hebrew Israelites. We never call ourselves black Hebrew Israelites. An apocalyptic cult. Apocalyptic, let me do this. Apocalyptic, apocal, apocalypticism is a religious belief that the end of the world is imminent. So you these guys believe in the end of the world. These are these are cult this pit uh this is a cult. Well wait a minute. The scriptures there's all kind of scriptures where it's go do a word search on the on the on the the last days or the end of the world. It's so cause you got the everyday uh average uh Christian they don't they're not they don't talk about the end of the world. They just go to church. They just go to church, go to con Christian concerts. They're not talking about the end of the world. Not, they, they don't even go, look, Vocab Malone does, knows absolutely nothing about the pro prophetic part of the scriptures. And that's a fact. It says there's a religious belief that the end of the world is eminent. Eminent meaning it's right at the door, even within one's own lifetime. Yeah, we're saying it's going to come in our lifetime. This belief is usually accompanied by the idea that civilization will soon come to a, a tumultuous end due to some sort of a catastrophic global event. Well, that's all throughout the scriptures. Now, cult, what is the word cult? A cult is a group which typically led by a charismatic and a self-appointed leader who uh, tightly controls its members. Actually, cult just means worship. Any form of worship, worship is called a cult. As potential terrorists who, so they're saying that these groups are terrorists. They call this terrorists who might become, who may or might become violent in reaction to the new millennium. So they put us in here. And they said, they call us black, the, the term black Hebrew Israelites come from the feds. Even Vocab Malone started saying they're calling us black and now he calls us Hebrew Israelites he said they don't like to be right it's um it's a dish, a dish to call us black Hebrew Israelites so why meddle not with them that are given to change why would this guy call us black Hebrew Israelites and I believe they call themselves black Hebrew that's a federal term man what happened behind behind closed doors now if you're a fucking retard this is going to go over your head Black Hebrew Israelite community, you got all church. In the black Hebrew Israelite community, you got all Israelite community. You got all sick Hebrew Israelite community. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. We never call ourselves black Hebrew Israelites. This is the only group that call themselves black Hebrew, maybe other groups. We're not black Hebrew Israelites. Okay? This is him and his emotional rant at three in the morning. 
in the black Hebrew Israelite community, you got all 60 something year old men talking about, I want little girls when they're young. Okay, watch this. Let it play. By Hashem, El Shai, double honors. And they're the Apostle. one that got the exclusive name, Yahweh by Hashem Shai. And they're the Apostle. one that got the exclusive name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And they're the one that got the exclusive name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Exclusive name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors. And they're the Apostle. one that got the exclusive name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And they're the Apostle. one that got the exclusive name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And they're the one that got the exclusive name, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You're not saying the Lord's name the right way. The Lord is not with you. Let it play. Let's see what. They and that's true. And what we say. So I, I take that as a compliment. They're the ones with the exclusive name, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And the way he said it was jokingly. So obviously, he doesn't believe that Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. But you just heard Bishop Nate, and I showed you the video where he came out of the hospital, Passover 2022. I got receipts, y'all. And I got more receipts. He comes out and he says, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. He said, I say that because uh, these guys get, they get goofs, goosebumps when they hear it. And he was talking about us. So they, so they take the name of the Most High lightly. Let's listen to the rest of this. And I'm going to go into the word exclusive. He said they have the exclusive name. Their leader promotes. Cause they're, they're saying that us, the order, the structure, the statistic shows how many people we got off gangs, we got off drugs, we got to finish the school, that we got them. Okay, well, these people that you got off gangs and you got off drugs, are they of the elect? Now, if they form a gang members that become the elect, the Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, they are only dealing with the elect of Israel. Not because some guy was a drug dealer or a gangbanger or a, 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 a hitman or, or whatever the hell, the, whatever the chaos, construction worker, and he comes out of it. Is he, the, the important thing is, is he of the elect? That's why I say you guys are a revolving door. You go back 10, 12 years ago, you had them different state camps, and them, all them guys that go back 10, 10, 10, 12 years ago, they all went back into the world for the most part. You check out the different camps that they got all over the place. It's all new faces. Matter of fact, let me go ahead. <laughs> let me go ahead and prove that. Let me see. Okay, what is this? Uh, let me see what this is all about. Okay, this one I, I watching this yesterday. Uh, so let me see. IUIC Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Let me see what, what comes up. Brooklyn camp. Okay. This is five days ago. I will give you this. That's I don't what recognize I'm gonna get. No, old Brooklyn camp. I don't recognize. All these guys look new. All these dudes look new. I don't remember him. I don't remember him. I don't remember him. I don't remember him. Let's go to let's go to the Bronx. The Bronx. Bronx camp. That's a Brooklyn camp. Okay, this is five days ago. I have no idea the evil that these people have done to us. Okay, I remember when they had a lot of guys out there. These are all new faces. This 
this brother captain whatever his title is I don't, I don't know his name somebody give me his name um he from Atlanta so they have so when these camps in New York or any of the camps they have to send guys okay we got to get these this guy to go over there to build the camp back up if you go back 10 years ago matter of fact you know what I'm gonna do get, let me let you have no idea and then, and then what should we do stop breaking the law and they all, they all, they all, yeah, I'm sorry, let, let's go. What just happened? I'm not going to ask you that. Look, they look at this, they cut their beards and it's half of their hair. He looks like he's shaving. I don't know none of these guys. And there's only, what, three guys? The, the brother from, the captain, whatever his title is, and from, from uh, Atlanta, he had to shoot up here to New York. This is uh, 3rd Avenue and 149th. I know this place very well. Matter of fact, I had a camp out here many, many years ago. Long before these guys came into the truth. Because guess what? I grew up here. And I see my people in the hoods. And I was wondering, why the hell we always in the hoods? White folks didn't grow up hard like, like us. White folks didn't grow up in, in the poor communities and schools like us. Why? Look at that. He, he, wouldn't, be in, he wouldn't be in our camp. And you, I'm going to say this to you men in GMS. You know, don't be coming around no fucking 5 o'clock shadows, bro. Let your beard grow. Don't be lining your shit up. And if you got a problem with that, then join IUIs and get you a purple garment. Hey, let's find out. Let's see what. Hey, let's see what God says. We all been in church, right? You been in church, right? Why did the pastor never answer this question for you? Guess what? Another guy that's lined up. You know, I never saw. I don't. I don't recognize this guy. Now let me do this. Let me do this. Let me go to the Bronx. Let's see how far this 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 thing goes back. You you see these faces, right? Okay, let me see more. More. Okay, 2013. 2013, right? So let's go here. Let's go to the videos. Check out the videos. Inside joke. Let's go to the videos. I want to go way back. Back in the time. Who's that? Jimmy Spicer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bail me for a minute. Back, I'm gonna go way back. I'm gonna go way back. I'm gonna go way back. Okay, we uh, twenty twenty eighteen. Okay, this is eight this is eight years ago. Okay. Eight years ago. Let's see what's up. Come on now. No, there is that. It says everything trade to Asia. Okay, you got you got uh the adulterer right here. And we're all we're all guilty of adultery in one way or another. He from Pennsylvania, Deacon Ethan, and he used to come out, take that long trip to come into uh, to the Bronx to build it up. Let me see if I can get a wide shot. Let me see if I can get a wide shot. See, this guy's got he's moved for shaving. Okay, this guy I don't know if he's still around. Who is this, uh, Captain Joseph or Captain Isaac? I, they look to, to me. They look similar. They look like look like they can be brothers, not twins. But you see the difference, right? 
You see, I haven't seen this guy in a while, so I don't know his situation. He compares to be uh, Ephraimite. I'm trying to get a a wide shot of the camp. See, these these are different faces, man. So that old crew, uh, the, Brook, the Bronx crew, the Brooklyn crew, if you go back eight, ten years ago, they all went back into the world. There might be one straggler left. I'm just showing you receipts here. Okay, so let me see. This is eight. Let me do some more. Let me do some more. Okay, let me let me let me uh this is nine years ago. Way back when. Oh, I'm an abomination! Brother. Okay, this is uh Captain Captain Shem. Captain Shem, he does the when they do the march and, and the cadence, he's a brother, I believe he was a Marine. And he's a good teach. He's a good teacher. He goes into the prophecies. So, this is one of the brothers that I actually like. <laughs> you know, he, he he comes off as and some of these guys. Like I said, some of these guys are sincere. I believe some of these guys are truly sincere, and I hope that they that the sincere ones are the of the elect. Split the ties. Split the ties. Come on, five people. But that man and his people See, see the faces? Face. See the faces? Come on. Like, Isaiah! 14! This the Isaiah 14! This guy, where, where is he? I believe uh, this guy. Is he? he? You don't see him no more. I could be wrong. Give me a second. Let me, let me, let me, I'm just showing you, man. I'm just showing you. These are the receipts. This is Labakar, Laba I'm saying his name right. He's He got the other brother, the Levi brother. Uh, Malachi is his name. Anyway, they're Levites. So he's still he's still around. This guy, I don't see. He's still around. Captain Shim is still around. All right? It's showing you that we watch. See, they watch all our videos. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> Who, with fans of you guys. But but you can see the if you go to the newest uh, video of the Bronx camp or the Brooklyn camp, the faces are totally different. That old crew from back in the day, this is why they had to send the brother up, the captain up from uh, Atlanta to build up the Bronx. Because another thing that they do, they take the winters off. Okay, let me just look at this. See what's going on. I'm going a little long, but you can take a break. You can disappear if you want. Okay, this is the head one of the, the head brother of uh, out there in the in the west. Mawata my, my, my Zak Bun Gad. A funny story, he, t he swore up and down he was a Judah, and I told him, he was sitting right next to me, and I, I said, you a Gadite. And he got mad, he said, I ain't no Gadite, man. I said, you are you're a Gadite. I'm, I'm a Judite, brother, my line go back to Judah, I'm a Judite. Well, guess what, he found out he was a Gadite. And he, but he does good, very good videos. He goes into a lot of prophetic stuff. Esau, Edom, ready to see hip you, Jake, or uh, Jake's. Uh, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Yeah, this is uh, this guy, uh, uh, Klaus Schwab. He's he wants to force the microchip in your brains. People ain't gonna go for that, but they will accept the microchip in the hand. So then that they pushing it, and the prophecy that we hear at GMX exclusively at GMS been pushing. Uh, the MOTB and it's and it's now 
you know, it, it's now at the matter of fact, is it, the door's already open. It's walking through the door. Forget about knocking at the door around the corner. It's in the house. It's in the house. Okay, so now, let me come back over here. I'm all over the place. So let's go back over here. Uh, young, men with us, young men with us that their parents came and brought them what we're saying we're living we're implementing the whole world is seeing it the structure the order the marriages okay and yeah but one, the one thing they don't see is the truth the hundred percent truth you guys are teaching that there's a hell you're leading the people astray you're deceiving the people whether you sincere or not uh, the MOTB a lot, oh, a lot of people, uh, the Passover 2022, uh, go back to the, back, type in IUIC Passover 2022, the first 15 minutes, Bishop Nathaniel speaks about either 20 or 22, I got to watch it again, people in the IUIC died the, the year uh, 2021. And I believe they died from either the C ragamuffin or the jump shot from the sea ragamuffin. I believe that they all took the jump shot, believing having jobs where they had to get it. The, the, the leadership didn't say you shouldn't get it. You know, they pretty much said, well, do what you have to. And that's, that's in the exact words of uh, Bishop Nate. I have the receipts. You got a problem with it? Oh, Bishop Nate never said, do what you have to concerning this thing. He said, do what you have to. I have the receipts, so please, I dare you, I double dare you to tell me I don't have the receipts. I got, I got the receipts. Now, meanwhile, on the other side, the GMS side, brother said, do we take it on? I'm going to lose my job. I said, well, look, brother, trust in the most high. I said, I wouldn't take it, and you shouldn't take it either. Matter of fact, it's an order. Don't take it. Isn't the mark of the beast? Nope. But uh, don't take it. Don't take it. And P, I got people close to me that died after taking it, saying I should have never took them shots because I feel like I'm going to die. We could, we could have later. Best friend that I grew up with since we were kids dropped dead, and he said he knew why he was going. He knew he was going to die, and he knew why he was going to die because he took them shots. He said I should have never taken them, taken them shots. I feel like I'm going to drop dead. Went to the hospital. They went to sleep. Never woke back up. Let's listen to some more. So we in serious time. So now, if these individuals from the IUIC, when the when the MOTB, and which we're counting down to the months, when the MOTB becomes mandatory, if they say go ahead and take it, you need your job, you got to eat, you you got to eat, your kids got to eat. That's what your, General Johanna said, according to uh, Deacon Hakar. Oh, and another, uh, in other words, uh, the only other group that teaches the MOTB is a micro C hip is Sakari. Maybe there's another group. Most most of you groups don't teach it, or if you do teach it and believe it, you don't push it like we push it. And if it was about money, we would let anybody in. Anybody in. Okay. We wouldn't just have we such strict, have stringent such rules. Stringent we would be rules. just like we'll them, just like lining up. Bums on the corner and taking money from them and telling them Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. That's an that's oxymoronic. How can you be a bum and take money from people? If you take money from people, you're no longer a bum. Or shy is gonna let them rape children in the kingdom and uh, shy is gonna let them rape children in the kingdom and about Hashem Yahweh bums on the corner and taking money from them and telling them Yahweh about Hashem Yahweh shy is gonna let them rape children in the kingdom and uh, have so when we get in the kingdom, he said, There goes some little kids, let's go ahead and get them. No, that's not gonna happen in the kingdom. As a matter of fact, we're gonna get women that are young women 12 13 years old no matter what age you are that happened to king david king david he took a i believe she was from the tribe it's a karate she they don't tell the age but she had to be maybe 12 years old and she was she was built you know she had she was curvy and uh 
they laid later in the bed with uh, the men of David later in the bed with David to see. Now, some people break it down. He didn't get no heat, meaning, no, he didn't get aroused. But th but was you aroused? In the kingdom, there's going to be a lot of arousalment, if that's a word. So this guy, pretty, this guy is definitely trying to demonize uh, GMS uh, be, to, because, because people are window shopping. People in IUIC are window shopping. And keep window shopping, man. You know? But he said that they have the exclusive name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And I take that as a compliment. And you're correct. You're correct on that one. We do have the exclusive name because you do not have the exclusive name. And you, and you make fun of the exclusive names. Uh, white, woman for wives. white woman for wives. Did we have women of the other nations. The only woman that we were commanded not to get with is a Canaanite woman. Telling them Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is going to let them rape children in the kingdom and uh, have uh, white women for wives. Which is, which is, it did happen, you would let, allow it to happen. Why? Because you go back to the scriptures. You're supposed to be a... And, we're, and when you watch this, see how he cuts it, cuts it out, you know? Um, we're saying in the kingdom, we're not telling nobody, go out and grape. Now, this knucklehead, uh, uh, what's his name, um, uh, Brother Polite, he said, oh, them guys, because he, he, you know what? He saw us as prophets. There was a demon that said these guys, remember, demons will tell the truth. Remember, demons will tell the truth. Deacon Asaph is a demon. He told the truth. He said, these guys, they got the exclusive name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's a demon telling the truth. So, the demon told Brother Polite that these, these men are men of the Most High. And he said, I, I can do it because they said it's all right to do it. And he did it and he wound up, wound up like he's doing seven years. He's doing seven. A hard seven. He ain't coming out. The missile's going to come before he comes out, you know? Now, you really think we're going to say, go out and do that, and give you the blessing to do that? They said, no, you, you do that, you're going to wind up, you're going to wind up locked up. Because he was supposed to get, he pleaded out. He got seven instead of 25. And that would be stupid. That would be ludicrous to tell people. We got a lot of young brothers in this, in this thing. Now, if any of these young brothers don't get the message and go out and do something, that's on him. That's what we gotta. We gotta. We gotta. Uh, we gotta run. We gotta. You know what's it saying? We gotta run over him. You know. You know what is it? The, the bus running over. I can't think of the, the terminology. But uh, listen up. So they're saying in the scriptures, you can allow your daughter to be raped. These are the people that's critiquing out, critiquing, critiquing. Well, I'll take it back. We don't allow you to do nothing. It's the it's the father, the f the father is the one that gives decides what man this daughter is going to be with, whether the woman whether the daughter likes it or not, whether the daughter likes it or not. When I, when um Isaac when um Rebecca uh, when Rebecca. Got the servant brought Rebecca to uh, Isaac. They never met, so she said, "Who's this man?" He said, "This is your this is your husband right here." And the very act, Isaac took took uh, uh, Rebecca in the tent and popped her, and popped her. Now, what if she said, "Oh, I don't like him. His forehead is too big, too too bad." You're gonna have a husband with a big forehead. If she resisted, he was it was his. She had no say in the matter. What part of the Israelite woman gonna play in the kingdom? They're gonna be they're gonna be uh, second class citizens, but they're gonna be over all the other nations, men and women. So it's gonna be the Israelite men, starting with the leadership, the 144 to 12, the 140 e 12 shall sit on 12 th thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Then you're gonna have judges under them, which is, you get at the 12, the rest of the 144,000, the. Uh, you know, you got the, the, the great men, the prophets, the kings or whatever. But we're all going to be kings and priests, right? And our wives are going to, whatever, however many wives we have, some of you are going to have a thousand, some of you are going to have two thousand, 
You're going to have concubines in the kingdom. We're going to be living it up in the kingdom. So, so the, the, the role that the man is going to play is he Israelite man is going to be top shelf. Then you got the Israelite women, which are are um are uh, second class citizens to the men. So if one if I have a daughter and I say I'm going to decide to give my daughter to Apostle Ryan Lobb's son, whatever whatever the case may be, my daughter has no say in the matter, and she's not going to have a say because you know what. All Israelite men are going to be perfect. We're going to all have spiritual power. You understand? And none of the Israelites are going to hell. Do not listen to Bishop Nathaniel concerning um, that there's a place called hell where your spirit goes and Israelites are going to go to hell too. Like he said, the worm, the place where the worm dieth not. He said, you the worm, you the worm. He's just making shit up as he goes along. There's no such thing as no hell. That's a Roman Catholic, Greek, Babylonian, Roman doctrine. To, and, and it's a scare tactic. King, our video. They're saying you could go back into the scriptures and they use lot situation where a bunch of homosexual demons were trying to attack angels. And Lot was trying to deter them. They're saying because of that situation, it's okay to rape women today. <laughs> no, we didn't say that. Because you go to jail. You go to jail. You know better than that. But anyway, Lot's situation, he, the, 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 the men of the city wanted to lay, get, get to know the two men, which were angels in the form of men, coming to Lot. And they said, they banging on the door. And they say we want to know them, meaning we want to have sex with them. That's how wicked that that city. Well, it's five cities all together. Two major: Sodom and Gomorrah, Admah, Zeboam, and there was another one. Help me out, y'all. But that's why you got to know the history. But the two major ones were Sodom and Gomorrah, and they were heavily into, uh, you know, Moism. But these were angels. So what Lot did. Because ancient cult, culture slash law is if you had a guest in your house, you you protected you protected that guest. He was your guest, so nobody no that that applies today. That applies today. The U.S. couldn't get this guy. What's his damn devil? I forget his name. They had him. He'd been locked up for years. The devil with the white hair. Uh, uh, Wiki WikiLeaks. What's this guy's name? Help me out, y'all. I forget his name. Well, he he he's been in the uh, the council the consulate of the embassy of the Ecuador, and the U.S. can't get him because they have to respect embassies and consulates. You can't just send people in because they're there. If 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 there's a consulate or embassy embassy house, let's say of Russia, in the U.S. and Russia and America goes to war, you cannot touch that embassy house or that consulate y'all don't know about consulates man you go down to new york city manhattan that's where all the world consulates are because i used to work in that capacity dealing with all those consulates there's a consulate for the eu it's in manhattan there's a chinese uh, the consulate for china which is in manhattan is on 12th uh was it 12th avenue 12th Avenue and 42nd Street is a big uh, building on the corner where the ships are. That's the Chinese consulate. Like if you want to go to China and you want to get a passport in two days, you go to the consulate and you ask permission to need a consulate. They'll say it's going to cost this to give you the consulate. In two days, you can go to China. Okay? So, matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm losing myself right here. Anyway, Let me come back. Let me come back. Situation, it's okay to rape women today. You cannot make this up. So if we said that, we would be off the streets. If we said that, if we said, you can do it, brother. Go ahead and do what you got to do. Do what you got to do, Ock. Do you know how many guys, young men will be locked up for doing something that's fucking stupid? The scriptures say, 
uh, what do you do with a, a, a when two men lay, lay together? What is that? Uh, uh, Leviticus twenty thirteen. You put them to death on the spot. Can you imagine us put the, putting them to death and then they resting us and we're <laughs> and we getting we getting pushed into the squad car and we got the cuffs on us and um, we 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 getting cuffed and we about to get stuffed and uh, the news is on us. Did you do that? Did you kill those? Those two LG uh, ABC people, and then, I, and then we're quoting uh, read Leviticus, read Leviticus twenty thirteen, read Leviticus twenty thirteen. <coughs> we're going before the judge. I, I, I'm, I'm going to stand for my own counsel. Bring out the book of Leviticus twenty thirteen. You know what they're going to do? They're going. They said these guys. They might not even lock you up in a regular prison. They might put you in the in a. In a uh, uh, a play for the in, criminally insane. These niggas are insane, you know, because it's accepted to be a mo in this society. That's just Babylonic rape. That's why this place is going to be burnt by fire. This place is coming to an end, and the only ones that's going to make it are the elect of Israel, not just any old Negro on the street. Bear me for a minute. He said, he said, he said to rape women today. You cannot make this, this up. He's doing that, doing that to demonize us. He's actually coming. This is uh, Acts five and uh, thirty-eight. It said, "Refrain from these men; these happy, happily ye be found to fight against Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. If this clown doesn't repent, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is gonna delete him." Give me a second here. He's going to be deleted. Hear me? Here the ones up. So at the same time, you got homosexual pastors in the Christian church, in the black Hebrew Israelite community, you got all 60 so men talking about, I want little, it's not with you. Better play, let's see what their leader promotes. Because they're, they're saying that us, the order, the structure, the statistic shows how many people we got off gangs, we got off drugs, we got to finish the school. And they all, and they, and they, and it's a revolving door. Those people that you got off gangs and drugs 10, 12 years ago are back in the world, back in their gangs and back on their, on, and on their drugs. Did we got them uh, young men with us that their parents came and brought them. What we're saying, we're living, we're implementing. The whole world is seeing it. The structure, the order, the marriages. Okay? And if it was about money, we wouldn't let anybody in. Okay? We wouldn't just have such strict, stringent rules. We would be just like... 
And we do have strict, stringent rules about coming into the camp. A lot of people say, oh, can I join in? Nope. You can come, you come out to the camp. You can watch the video. Keep watching the videos and learning. If the Spirit's on you, you want to be elect, you will be a part of the camp. There's some guys that just go out there and teach and say they're part of GMS and really not part of GMS. But they do it enough, they, they become a part of GMS. We don't have no applications, all right? This is a spiritual thing. Lining up bums on the corner and taking money from them and telling them Yahweh Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to let them rape children in the kingdom and uh, have uh, white women for wives. And telling them Yahweh Bah Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to let them rape children in the kingdom and uh, have uh, white women for wives. Now, when you go back to Deuteronomy 22, about the great doctrine and all that. That's the law, that's laws of the most high. So guess what? You're going against the laws. You're not keeping all the laws. If you take away from the laws, you take away from the book. If you take from away from the book, you're gonna be written out of the book of life. If you're written out of the book of life, you're gonna wind up in the lake of fire. So you better hope like hell there's no lake of fire, which there's not. Which is, which is, if it did happen, you would let allow it to happen. Why? Because you go back to the scriptures. You're supposed to be a so they're saying in the scriptures, you can allow your daughter to be raped. These are the people that's critiquing. I'm not talking about now. Can't, it ain't going to happen now. That'd be stupid. You'll wind up, you wind up in jail. You'll be, you'll be vilified for that. Not one brother ever did that. Grape the girl. And if they did, that's it. That's on him. Taking out, critiquing, critiquing our video. They're saying you could go back into the scriptures and they use lot situation where a bunch of homosexual demons were trying to attack angels and lot was trying to deter them. They're saying because of that situation, it's okay to rape women today. You cannot make this up. They're the ones that push you must say a special exclusive name Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai and if you're not saying it you're not getting the kingdom but in the kingdom you can rape women and have sex with little girls they're the ones that push you must say a special exclusive name Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai and if you're not saying it you're not getting the kingdom but in the kingdom you can rape women and have sex with little girls they're the ones that push you must say a special exclusive name Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai and if you're not saying it, you're not getting the kingdom. But in the kingdom, you can rape women and have sex. So what's the exclusive name? What's the exclusive name? Let me cut some of these. Uh, let me cut this one. Oh, let me see here. Let me cut this. I don't need this. Oi. Hey, this shit is funny as hell. It's a prank with a coffin in the elevator, and then these guys leave, and the dead body falls out. <laughs> they were fucking crazy Russians, man. I'm just trying to cut down these uh, <coughs> tabs right here. Okay, let me cut this one. All right, bear me for a minute. Like this one, I gotta watch the rest of this, but. Uh, who's judgment now? That's wrong. Let me cut this one. I don't need this one now. Right, let me cut this one. Okay. Okay, let's go back to here. That's what little girls. Let it play. 
Okay, so what's this all about? Bishop Nishanate is uh, going off on the rich man and Lazarus. Yeah, he go. He he. he t first of all, there's no such thing as a, an eternal hell that just burn, burns in, and that the worms are us. We're the worm. The spirit is the is the worm. The hell is this all about? I got to come back to this, but anyway. Let's, so let's go on to the precepts. Concerning the name. I'm going to try to move fast on this. Genesis 4. Oh, he said you got to call on an exclusive name or you're not going to make it in the kingdom of heaven. Uh, let me give you a precept for that. So I went to the... The term black Hebrew Israelites came from the feds. This is the, the official Project Megiddo. Um, where am I? Let me do this. Cut this. Okay, let me. I looked up the word exclusive, right? Exclusive. Limited to only one person or group of people, exclusive use. This room is for the exclusive use of guests. So, yes, we are exclusive. The elect are exclusive. If you're not part of the elect, you're going to fall off. Many are called, but few are chosen. The chosen, that the ones that are ultimately of the chosen, the elect, they're exclusive. This, this group is not for everybody. I went into the etymology of the word. Exclusive, mid of 15th century, so as to exclude uh, 1560s uh, that excludes from medieval Latin, which is, ja that was Jake talking Latin. Medieval, anytime you come across the word medieval dark ages, it's talking about Jake was in power. So ja what languages was Jake speaking? The, the Byzantine Empire, what language were they speaking? Greek. Th then you had Jake speaking Latin. Because the English wasn't around back then. So they had to be speaking Hebrew, Greek, Latin. Uh, from from medieval uh, Latin. Exclusivos. From, from exclus, exclus past par par participle a uh, stem of exclude there see exclude of monopoly of monopolies rights franchises right if you make a particular burger of a fran a franchise you can't make a burger they'll sue you because this this recipe is exclusive to people that are part of the a b a b c d burger company etc from 1760s of social circles Clubs, etc., unwillingly, <coughs> unwilling to admit outsiders from 1822. Exclusion, act of shutting out non exclusion. From the Latin, blah, 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 of shutting out, of shutting out. What does Matthew 25 say? Just, just half of the five are going to be shut out because they have no oil in their lamp. In order for you to make it, you got to have oil in your lamp. And it says immediately from Matthew 25, you go to uh, Isaiah, what is that? Isaiah 19, 26. Let's go to that. This is exclusive. Isaiah 19. I'm sorry. And 26. Oh, 
I'm sorry, 26 and 19. Isaiah <coughs> 26 and 19. <coughs> The dead shall shall live together with my dead body. Um, shall they arise, awaken, and sing? What's the word "sing" mean? I mean, we, we know the gospel. We're telling the truth. Ye that dwell in dust, in the dust and confusion, for for thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the herbs for healing, and the earth shall cast out their dead. If you're not exclusive to this thing, you're going to be cast out. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors. That's exclusive. In other words, you go to the club and they have the bouncers out there and they'll pick you. You can go in. You can go in. No, you can't go in. So the ones that could go in have a certain look to themselves. So they're, they're exclusive to that club. Right? It says, and shut thy doors about thee, hide, thy, hide thyself as it were for a moment until the indignation be overpassed. That's when the destruction comes. For behold, we never read 20, 21st verse, for behold, Yahweh cometh out of his place, which is heaven, the, the, the fourth dimension, to punish the inhabitants of the earth. Through what? When his destruction comes. Read Revelation chap chapter 18. For their iniquity, their wickedness, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her sin, her, her slain. And that's that part of the earth is talking about the US. Babylon the Great. Give me a second, let me give you something else. Uh out of darkness. Outer darkness. Uh, Matthew's 8 and 12. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. So some of us are going to be exclusive to this truth and others are going to be cast out. Guys that come into this thing and fall back off, they're cast out. They're no longer part of this exclusive group. And they try to get back in. They never can get back in. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the missiles come, you're going to be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Uh, Matthew, Matthew 22 and 13. Then said the, then said the king to the servants, uh, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into what? Out of darkness. He's not part of this exclusive uh, circle, inner circle. See, the ones that are part of this exclusive inner circle, they have all the truth. The, the, the ones that are part of the exclusive inner circle are going to teach that the MOTB is a micro C hip. They're not going to teach anything else. They're going to teach that, no, there's no such thing as an eternal hell. They're not going to teach, oh, Esau can make it if he's right with the Most High. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Of Matthew 25 and, and 30. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into out of darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So if the IUIC don't don't repent, they're gonna be weeping and gnashing of teeth. If there's a left in there, they're gonna come out of they're gonna come out of her. Come out of her, my people. Meddle not with them that are given the change. So now let's go into the precepts. I gave you, a, okay, Genesis, uh, the first time the Most High's name is mentioned is in, is in Genesis 2, I believe that's the fourth verse, which I didn't get that. Genesis 4, 26. And to Seth, to him also, there was sons, born a son, and he called his name Enos, then began men to call upon the name of Yahweh. And when you click on that, 
the name is Yahweh. Jehovah, the existent one. They're loosely translated, it could be the exist, exist, existent one, existing one. When you break it down, the word is he and Hawa goes back to Haya, which is which is to be. I to be. I present. So let's go to uh, Genesis 12, verse 7 and 8. And Yahweh appeared to Abram, uh, uh, Abram, which is not Abraham, because his name was changed to Abraham, Abraham father of uh, multitude, from exalted father, Abba, Ra, Abba Ram, which means exalted father. That's where you get a ram, the word ram. Ram just means exalted because rams are up on the hill, so they're exalted. And said, ram is a Hebrew word. Unto thy seed will I give this land, and there built he an altar unto Yahweh, who appeared unto him. And he removed, and this proves that Abraham knew the name of Yahweh. So he taught it to his children. And he removed from thence unto a mountain in the east of Bethel. Bethel is Hebrew, Bayath, Bayath, by, um, Bayath Allah, which is house of God, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west, and Ha'ai on the east, and there he built an altar unto Yahweh and called upon the name of Yahweh. So Abraham called upon the name of Yahweh. So the prophets of the Most High supposed to know the name of Yahweh and his son's name, Yahweh Shai. Unto the place, Genesis 13 and 4, unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first, and there Abram called on the name of Yahweh. More proof that Abraham, the Yahweh gave his name to Abraham, and the name is Yahweh. And Abraham, uh, Genesis 21, verse 33, and Abraham planted a grove in a, uh, a garden, a farm in Beersheba and called there on the name of Yahweh, the everlasting Most High. And Abraham sojourned in the Philistines, which is a land of Canaan, many land, many days. Because that was ultimately our land. Uh, Exodus 20 and 7 and 8, verses 7 and 8. Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy power in vain. And that's what this guy's do. They got this exclusive name called Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. They got this exclusive name called Yahweh Bashem Yahweh. Showing disrespect to the name because he doesn't believe that that's the true name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh, the true name of the Most High and the Son. Why? Because the leader, Bishop Nathaniel, when he came out the hospital, 2022 Passover, he praised the name of Yahweh Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. But then he went back to Christ. So they're playing games with you. Don't play. You don't play games. If you're gonna play games with anybody, don't play. Don't play games with Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai. That's a no-no. Uh, Exodus twenty verse seven. 
Thou shalt not take the name of Yahweh thy power in vain, for Yahweh will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath to keep keep it holy. These guys won't even keep the Sabbath because the Sabbath does not come in on Friday sundown and Saturday sundown. The Sabbath comes in based upon the new moon. They don't even know that. It says six days thou, thou shalt thou labor and do all thy work and in the seventh is the Sabbath rest. So what's the starting point? If they're saying six days, they say the six days starting from what from what point? It's starting from the new moon. You have the new moon Sabbath, and then following that, a week later you have the, the, the regular Sabbath. And you have a series of uh, four uh, Sabbaths. Then you got a new moon again. They don't know that because Yahweh Bashem Yahushai haven't opened their eyes to it. They tell you to keep the laws. And they don't keep the laws. And part of the law is calling on the name of the Most High, not calling on anybody else's name. Exodus 20, verse 13. And all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods. Neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So why are they calling on Christ? Most High and Christ bless and they know the name of Yahweh but they're saying well these guys got this exclusive secret name this exclusive name Yahweh Bashem Yahushai watch what Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is going to do to the IUIC because the leader is leading them into error the scriptures say Yahweh Shai said ye air not knowing the scriptures Exodus 33 and 19, and he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of Yahweh before thee, and will be gracious to them to whom I will be gracious, and I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. Paul reiterated what was said in um, Exodus. He said, why does thou find fault with the Most High? He said, look, I have mercy on who I want to have mercy, and if I don't want to have mercy on this person, I don't have to. What you going to do? I'll smash you like the pinche bug that you are. And the Most High going to smash this place. For real. For real, for real. And Yahweh, Exodus 34 and 5, and Yahweh uh, descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of Yahweh. Which is which is the most the most high's true name, and the son's name is Yahweh Shai. Scripture say the simple believers every word. So this guy tell you anything, you just believe it. Oh, he said it. He came in on a horse, so the Lord must be dealing with him. He said this and that, and hell does exist. Well, hell does exist. We're going to start teaching it. And it's against the Lord to call on any the name of any other God. Yeah, but to all I heard you say Jesus, and you said Christ, and you said Allah. Yes, I said it as um, an example as to names that you're not supposed to call on them. And the word, the call on other gods, the word call goes back to the word zakar, which means to remember, to honor, to honor. So when you say, Most High Christ, bless, you're honoring Christ. It says, uh, Leviticus 24 and 11, and the Israelitish woman, woman's son, which was a, a Hamite, blasphemed the name of Yahweh. Why? 
when you when you go back let me see something I'll give you the story Okay, and the son of an Israelite, his woman, the mother was an Israelite, the father was a he, this bone-headed, hammer-headed Israelite woman fell in love with a damn Egyptian and got pregnant, and she came out, she, she came out into the wilderness with her heathen son, I'm showing you that didn't, calling on the name of the Most High is a spiritual thing, the, mo, the Spirit's going to make you see that that's the name of the Most High, whose father was an Egyptian, he was a heathen went out among the children of Israel and this and this son of the Israelite is woman and a man of Israel strove together in the camp and the Israelite son's woman blasphemed the name of Yahweh. He said, man, F your Yahweh. Because the spirit wasn't dealing with him. The spirit wasn't the spirit of Yahweh by Shemel Shah wasn't dealing with none of them heathens, man. And cursed and they brought him unto Moses, and his mother's name was Sh Shilomith, the, the daughter of Dibri, the, the tribe of Dan. And what was the counsel? They said, what should we do about this? The Mosai said, kill him. Kill that, kill him. Put him to death. And they stoned him to death. They put him to death for, for dissing the name of the Mosai. That's blasphemy. That's why when the scriptures speak about blasphemy of the, the Holy Spirit, Israelites could be guilty of blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. Now, the unforgiven part, I don't, I can't give you the details of that. We got to wait until the kingdom comes. But I wouldn't want to test that theory. Let me dis, let me dis the your Holy Spirit. What did what them Israelites, them wicked Israelites, did when you, when Yahweh Shai performed a miracle? He said that power you got it from the left hand side. So they're saying that the Holy Spirit is from the left-hand side of the Most High. So that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And you checks like to play games. That's why when your Howard by Shemi Shai comes, when that fire come on your ass, you ain't going to be thinking about nothing. All you're going to, like the scriptures say, weeping, um, weeping and gnashing of teeth. Like the guy in the uh, the Tesla that crashed to the bank in uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and one of the brothers from GMS lived out there, and he actually passed by where the crash happened. He went in detail, and, and it was all caught on film. The guy was screaming, "Oh, help me, help me, help me!" And his and his boy said, "I can't, bro, I can't." And then you could see him. He was in there for about a good minute and a half. And his body was still in, in flames. He was feeling the fire. He was engulfed in flames. And then slowly you heard a gurgle and nothing. He, he was burnt up. There was nothing you can do about that guy. That was the judgment of Yahweh by Hashem. And he, sound, he sounded fruity. An apple, an apple a day only makes a nigga fruity. He sounded real zesty. So the most High just took an angel and said, okay, take him out today. How you want me to take him out? That bank over there on the corner of so-and-so and such-and-such -and -such in Jacksonville, Mississippi, make him crash into it, set that bitch on fire, and, 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 and keep his spirit in there for about a minute. That's why it's... Anybody... Look, when Bishop Nathaniel started teaching about hell and you're going to burn forever, and even the Israelites, y'all should have got... But that make good sense. That make, that make a whole lot of sense. Do you know that, my dear boys, do you know that when you look up hell, it says there's a gulf in between us. Now the, the rich man was able to communicate with Lazarus, and he saw, uh, he saw Abraham, right? Abraham, he was in Abraham's bosom. He was com com Abraham was comforting him, right? And they were actually talking. So you know what, if there's an actual hell pursuant to... Uh, Luke uh, uh, chapter 16, that means when we're in the kingdom of heaven, in the spiritual realm, we're going to be on the good side. We're going to be drinking lemonade, cooling out in the shade, whatever, whatever. <laughs> simple lemonade, getting paid. Well, anyway, we're going to be doing real good. 
the AC is going to be on. We're going to have concubines. We're going to have wives. We're going to be eating the best foods. We're going to be living good. And this, I'm, this is the spiritual realm, so you don't, you don't eat in the spiritual realm. But you're going to always see people in hell. You're going to see them from a distance. And not from a distance. You're going to, you're going to see them and talk. So people in hell that's burning in hell can actually talk to people that's in the, it's on the, right, the, the, the righteous side of the spiritual realm. Right? So that means you're going to see your mother forever. Your mo everywhere you go, your mother's going to be, you're going to find a way where you are. No, son, I'm burning. I can't do something. Put in a good word. Put in a good word to you. How am I? Should you out shot so I can get out of this motherfucker? And what your black ass going to say? Help me, help me. You're going to say, I can't, bro. I can't. As soon as Bishop Nate started teaching that, you guys with working brains should have got up and left. You should have got up and left. He said that, and then you just believe it's, it's a God. It's, you think, you know what your problem is? You, the scriptures speak about putting the other gods before you. You made Bishop Nathaniel a God. You made him a God. Whatever this guy says, if he says, nope, that's not it, this is what it means, well, God just spoke. All right? There ain't no such thing as no goddamn hell. And if there was, you'd be, if you have a son that didn't come in the truth, you're going to see him burning the hell, yelling at you. Lord, God, put in a good word, put in a good word. You're going to see your grandmother, your good, a lot of good, is rock, rocking in a rocking chair, on fire, talking about, Lord, please help me. Jesus, oh, oh, Lord, put in a good word for me. Put in a good word for me so I can get the hell up out of this motherfucker. Please help me, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, Jesus, save me, Lord, help me, Lord. And here she's a there's a a wheelchair rocking on fire with her black ass in it. So you see how stupid. See if you think if you use your head for something other than the hat rack, you'll see it. But obviously, these people in the IUIC have low IQs. All right. What does that mean? Intelligence quote quota, I believe it's called. Okay, so now let's go back, and you're gonna find out. Then it shall be known who are my chosen. Then it shall be known that have been a prophet or prophets among us. Then they're going to find out what well, GMS was always right, especially when that chip hits. And I can't wait till these devils hurry up and push that goddamn, stop pussyfooting around, stop dragging your feet and, and push that motherfucking chip. So we can, just so we can see the reaction of these other Israelites. And what the hell are they going to do? I'm going along. If you don't like it, keep moving. I don't give a damn if there's one person watching. And a lot of you that watch us are watching us to get entertained. So what I'm going to say is, are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Leviticus 24, verse 16, and he that blasphemeth and he that blasphemeth the name of Yahweh, Bishop Nate blaspheme, the leadership blaspheme of IUIC blaspheme the name Yahweh, uh, Deacon Asaph blaspheme the name. He got this, they got this exclusive name, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai. It says, and he that blasphemeth the name of Yahweh, and the word blaspheme, we're going to look into that. It means to dis the, dis the name. He shall surely be put to death. And all the congregation shall certainly stone him as, as well the stranger. Remember they stoned the, 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 the Hamite kid, stoned him to death. As he that is born in the land, when he blasphemeth the name of Yahweh, shall be put to death. So now let's look up the word blasphemeth. The word is uh, naquab, to pass, preferate, bore, appoint, to pass, bore, to prick off. Like if something jumps on you like some bug, you, you, something comes on your hand, you prick it off, you kick, get it off, get, get that thing away from me. So the name Yahweh comes and you just get that, get that name Yahweh away from me. 
designate to to be pricked off be designated be specified to curse blaspheme so when you blaspheme the name of the most high you're cursing the name of the most high right it says it right here curse six times let's click on that Uh, Leviticus 24 and 11 and the Israelite is woman son blaspheme curse the name of the Most High uh, Numbers uh, 23 and 8 how shall I curse whom the Most High have, have not cursed so this Moabite big head Moabite king was telling uh, Balaam uh, Balak was telling Balaam to curse curse ye therefore curse ye this day Israel so Balaam said no I can't curse them these are the blessed people. It says, or oh, who or oh, how shall I defy whom Yahweh, this Balaam was a Midianite. And they wind up in the, in the, I think it was the 31st chapter of Numbers, the Israelites wound up killing a Balaam, this guy that had the prophecy of the Most High, whose eyes were open. Right? He the, the Most High, the Most High got the Israelites to kill this guy. And then he, he made a prayer. He said, I wish at the end of the day, I wish I can go to sleep and wake up and be an Israelite. Guess what? When he died, he came back as a Midianite. He's going to always come back as a heathen, even though the Most High opened up his eyes. It says, whom Yahweh have not defiled. So he knew the name. The people round about knew the name of Yahweh. Here it is again. 25th verse, and Balak, the king of Moab, the big-headed king from Moab, said, said that to Balaam, the Midianite, neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. Let them, Job 3 verse 8, let them curse it that, that, that curse the day. Yeah, you curse the day, the day I was, I curse the day I was born. Job 5 verse 3, I have seen the foolish foolish taking root. That's how I see they're foolish, the foolish taking root, but suddenly I curse his habitation. So when we get on the IUIC, we're, we're getting on it, we're cursing him. Uh, Proverbs eleven twenty six: he that withholdeth corn, the people shall curse him, but blessed shall be upon the blessed blessing shall be upon the head of him that selleth it uh, Proverbs 24 and 24 he that saith unto the wicked thou art righteous him shall the people curse neither shall shall abhor neither nation shall abhor him that's Esau ultimately so these Christians they want Esau to be saved right so this is a good precept to, to give them it said, he that saith unto the wicked, Esau, thou art righteous. No, they can make it to the kingdom cook too. Him shall the people curse. Put a curse. So I curse all of you black Christians out there. Nations shall abhor him. Then ultimately, all the nations are going to hate Esau in the kingdom of heaven. give you a couple more you know what let me go to Deuteronomy 28 here's the rest of them Deuteronomy there, there's if you put in if you do a word word search or if, uh, search out the phrase the name of the Lord is going to come up come up only on almost that exact phrase is going to come up almost 300 times Deuteronomy 28, verse 10. And this is the law. And all people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of Yahweh. They have an exclusive name that they go by Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. 
It says, and they shall be afraid of thee. This guy is not showing no fear. He has no fear. We're calling on the name Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and he's making mockery of the fact that we're calling on the true name of the Most High and his beloved son. Let me give you like two more, then I'm going to close. But here you got the list. Let me see here. Well, let's go to Deuteronomy 18 and 7. Let's see what that says. Then he shall minister in the name of Yahweh, his power, his God, as all his brethren, the Levites, do, would stand therefore before Yahweh. So the Levites knew to call on the name of, of the Most High. Fifth verse. For Yahweh thy power has chosen him out of all thy tribes to stand to minister in the name of Yahweh, him and his sons forever. That's talking about the, the priesthood. When you, when you come up here, it says portion of the Levites. So this is talking about the Levites. So when the Levites put their prayers in to, to bless the people, they're doing it in the name of Yahweh. And now you're doing it in the name of Yahweh by Hashem Shai. So anyway, with that, these are the rest of the precepts. Deuteronomy 21 and 5, Deuteronomy 28 and 10, uh, Joshua 9 and 9, 1 Samuel 17 and 5, uh, 45, 1 Kings 3 verse 2. Let me go to Joshua 9 and 9. Let's just see what that says. And they said unto him, from a very far country, oh, these are these Canaanites that lied, that said, oh, we're not the Canaanites. They were in Canaan. When they were killing them, they didn't want to get put to death. So they lied and said, no, we came from a far country because we heard about the name of your God. So I'm going to read that in my close. It says, and they said unto, unto him, you got to read verses above that, from a very far country, um, uh, thy servants are come because of the name of Yahweh. So the Canaanites knew the name of Yahweh. They they knew the people around about Egypt knew that it was Yahweh that destroyed Egypt. That's why even the Edomites feared the Israelites in Deuteronomy chapter chapter two. Thy power, thy God, for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. So everybody knew about the, the same thing. When this place gets taken down, when the kingdom is established, everybody's going to, there's going to be one exclusive name of the Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His Son, Yahweh Shai. So it's about him lifting up his name. If you some actor and you get an Oscar award and they mention your first name wrong, you're going to correct him. No, 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 that's not my name. My name is so-and-so and such and such. You call on Christ till you blew in the face. The Yahweh Shai ain't coming back to save you. It ain't no such thing as no fucking Christ. So anyway, with that I'm gonna say shalom. I'm on to the next one. Shalom.